Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? As you can tell, the picture quality might be a little different. We're on the new cam today. My first time trying to actually videotape myself eating videotape. Who says that anymore? Is the 92? No. Anyways, we're filming, recording, better words to use uh, on the new cam today. Hopefully you can't see right down everything about my face, but maybe it's better. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. At the end of this, this is an experiment. So, uh... We have on deck the King, BK, slide it into frame. Remember uh, back in the day that ketchup bottle commercial, Heinz, when they used to just like slide that shit down the table? That always seemed dangerous to me. Anyway, it's got BK and uh, also I'm gonna tell you guys one of your favorite things that everybody, I need more fight stories, I need more fight stories. Well, okay, I'm gonna tell you my most recent fight story, the last time I fought. This was probably, I want to say like two years ago or so. But anyways, let's get to the bag, see what we got in it, and then we'll get to the story. All right, of course, we're going full Whopper. I got heavy all, so that's everything else. Just extra with no onion though. I held back on the onion, don't know why. The original chicken sandwich. This guy is the shape of Hey Arnold's head. We got those. A wrapped fork, but that's because we have a poutine and it did melt the container. But we have the poutine there. Fries, cheese, curds, and gravy. I'm all excited in this new camera. <laughs> oh man, that's good. And then, of course. A little sauce dumperoo. So, okay, so we got a couple mayos just in case. A couple catsups. Catsup? Anybody's parents call ketchup catsup? My mom calls it catsup. I don't know why, but she does. Yo, and these are so hot. Again, ketchup massage. Okay. We're getting two extra. Um, let's unravel this greatness, I guess. Unravel. Okay, well, first things first, let's get this deformed lid off this poutine. If that's possible. Oh, yes. Come on. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That is... The fact that that... Come back. Come back to me. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that that didn't drip or anything is just like goes to show like how fast food is just like not real. But anyways, let's crack open this Whoppy, and I think we're just gonna do everything on this Whopper wrapper. Okay. So the only thing I can't figure out about this camera is I don't know how to get like like I'm in focus or this isn't in focus or like this is in focus and then I'm not in focus and it's just. I really gotta focus on my energy on learning how to to fix that or work this camera. So there's that. Yes, to all of you people in Canada, whoever's gonna hit me up, I put ketchup on my poutine. I just love it. The way that the vinegar cuts through the fattiness of the gravy is just it's what I'm about. High def, high def whopper. Is that a high def whop? One bite, and then we're getting into the story. Okay. All right, so the last time that I fought was about like two years ago. And And it was like a pretty, pretty standard, semi-standard night out with my friends. We were at our local spot that we drink at. So 
yeah, it was like a pretty standard night out with my friends at our like local spot. But I guess the main difference is that um, if you guys have watched my channel for long enough, you'll know that a couple of my friends are like pretty successful musicians. And um, in 2015, they had like a breakout hit song and then, you know, followed up with like another one and stuff like that. And uh, they had been on tour. So they were touring around for like a long, long time. And when they got back, we like planned a night for like the whole crew and our crew is pretty deep. Like when we all get together, like them plus everybody else, it's like, you know, a good 15 bodies, right? Or maybe more 20, like, and we all go to this one little bar and it holds about 30 people kind of thing. So we were having basically like a welcome home, like first time since they've been back from tour, like catch up, drink, like whatever, like all like good friends hanging out. And, uh, That's what was going down. So we went up to the, to the bar, da, 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 we're having a night. And um, this little dude comes out of nowhere or whatever. But he like, I don't know how he ended up there, but he like kind of knows them or whatever. Like a, like a, his brother knew them or something or whatever. They, and they, they started some company that had to do with music and... But, you know, they weren't really tight with this guy, and I think due to, due to their recent success, he was more or less just trying to, like, pitch them on this business idea regarding music and... Stuff like that, and I feel like, you know, we were more or less just trying to have, like, a good time. Everybody's just trying to catch up. And I guess more, like, in my drunken mind, I think he was annoying me more than anybody else. But even still, it just, like, the vibe wasn't on, on point, right? Like, he was just kind of, like, Killing the vibe a little bit. So, every chance I could get, I was like taking little shots at this guy, just verbal abuse, just like trying to, like, and you know, when I'm drunk, I'm a little bit cocky and shit. Like, I def definitely get in a mood sometimes where I'm like, I'm just very, like, don't give a fuck. And so... I keep taking these little jabs at him, and... Eventually I can see that he's getting very frustrated with it. I just kept interrupting him a lot, a lot, and, like, I think at one point, I like spit straight up said to him, I'm like, like nobody wants you here, dude. Like, why don't you just get the fuck out of here kind of thing. Like you guys are like, I'm like, I basically said like, you're killing the vibe. We're all just trying to have like a friendly catch up. These dudes just got off tour, like. Step off, kind of thing. So 
So he's noticeably getting more and more stressed. But it's coming near to the end of the night. He's persevered at this point. And uh, at this point, we were on the other side of the street across from the bar in front of this like Subway, like Subway Sandwiches store. And he was having like a smoke with one of my buddies and <laughs> I came in and got cocky and that was just the last straw. He was like totally at this point, he's just like, I'm going to fucking like, I want to kill you kind of thing. Right. So he snaps. He's like, you know what? I've had enough of you. <laughs> Let's do this. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, finally, like I knew, I knew eventually this guy was going to either leave or snap and fight me. And now here's where it's going to sound a bit cocky or whatever, but it's also going to sound like, like wimpy too or whatever. The reason why I could be so cocky to this dude is because he wasn't a big guy. Like he was short, like five, seven, eight, like uh, his body, his frame was okay. Like he was one of those like kind of like at least decent little guys, but like even still, still not a big guy. Like I probably had like, you know, 80 pounds on this guy. So that's why I was like so unfazed by if he was going to fight me or not. But he snapped and he, he went for it. So he like rushes at me and I'm completely dead ass so calm. And I'm not like in my head, I'm like, I'm not even going to go into it with like a full, like, just like, I'm not going to go in with like a full, like scrap mentality. I'm just going to kind of like fuck with this guy for a little bit. Just cause like, it just seems so easy to beat him. And he came running at me. It's hard to show you, but like I was just standing and I just kind of like, I kept doing these like kick, like I just, just like my leg, I just like extended forward and down, like into his like gut, into his belly and like sent him back flying. So I could just like smash him in the gut with my foot he goes back flying I think he might have hit the ground the first time gets up he's kind of winded and like you know like if you do something like that to somebody that's just like you see them light up they're just fucking so pissed at that point so now he wants to go even harder so he comes back again and I don't know why like this guy like Ask me how he let me do the exact same thing again. I don't know. Like you would think to like do something different, but no, he just like came at me again. I did the exact same thing. One more leg straight, like lean back, leg straight out, down, boom. He's back on the ground. He gets up again every time I connect on this guy. He like the devil fire, like the anger in his eyes. He's just getting so angry and he keeps coming back. Uh, he then comes back and now we're throwing fists. We're in some little bit of like a scrappy fist situation.
no one's really landing or blah, blah, blah. I kind of like this time I just like because I, I knew like I didn't want to like fuck him up so like again like I just kind of like body toss like I just kind of toss him away from me like back onto the ground again he was just very like scra scrappy do ish He just wouldn't quit. Very let me out of Uncle Scoop. And uh, so we kept coming back, kept coming back. And then, and then at a certain point, I was like, okay, like I have to handle this guy now because like he's not going to stop. This guy's just like a little mad energy ball and he's just like not going to quit. So finally, I do decide. I'm gonna chuck him to the ground and I'm gonna like pounce on him and I'm then I'm gonna punch him in the face. Like a bunch of times. That's what I decided. So that's what I did. I uh, just kinda like body toss him, got on top, and I was about to be, like be hitting and then the dudes like my boys or whatever they stepped in, pulled me off and stopped it. So after that, I guess in my mind I was like, okay, this night's like over, it's late, it's fucked, like whatever. So I decided to leave. I don't know if I went home or whatever, but I did leave. Uh, the I guess, and I guess he stuck around. There's this diner right by where we are, were, and I guess they, like, a lot of times, usually after a night of drinking, where we were, we usually go to that diner, like have some grub and then call it a night. I guess they ended up doing that, and he went with them, and while they were at this diner eating, He pulled out a huge knife that he had on him. And so the next day, like my friends, they were like, they're like, yo, remember that guy that you like fought last night? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, we, well, we went for food at the diner after and he like, sh he pulled out this huge knife that he had on him. So they're like, you're super lucky he didn't pull that thing out and go crazy on you. And I was like, whoa, yes, I am. That is crazy and lucky and wild like that's nuts they're like yeah man like you kind of dodged a bullet on that one and I was like absolutely that's like I was but I mean nothing happened but you just never know right you never know if some dude's gonna go you know how intense somebody really is and if they carry weapons and if they're like that so Luckily, I didn't get shanked. Luckily, he kept it to a just a regular fight. But yeah, it was uh, just just to know that like he had that, <laughs> he could have just fucking took me out at any time. Like, is it was very like I don't know, it's like surreal or something. I don't even know. Like, it just was like, oh, <laughs> probably you shouldn't just fight people drunk. I guess. But yeah, that was the last fight I've been in. My one buddy too was like, I've never seen somebody fight so calm. Like, why were you so calm? And I was like, cause I knew I could beat him up. Like I just didn't, like I wasn't scared at all. Just cause I just knew I could handle him. Like he just wasn't big enough to worry me. So yeah, that was the last fight. Hopefully I don't fight anymore. I don't really think it's a good idea. I don't want to get stabbed. And yeah, it's just not smart. It's not like a good thing to do, but that was the last one I've been in. I'm sure, honestly, in the future, I'm going to get drunk and something's going to happen at some point where like somebody's just like, we're not vibing and then it happens again. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I hope the new camera was decent um, in all the aspects. I know it didn't focus in a lot at some points or whatever and blah 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 blah. Hopefully the audio is decent. Um, yeah, till the next one though. You know what to do. You gotta eat good, you gotta live well, you gotta stay true. Peace.